So it's come to notice that a lot of people have been seeing a little bit, you know, not too on the happy side with Titan as of lately. I've been seeing quite a few negative comments when I started talking about, like, the new spin-off. I've been, mean, like, even myself, I've been, mean, like, not talking about, the, like, the last chapter because it was a little bit... It was interesting, but it was a little bit hard more to put into video-wise. It was, like, one of those chapters, like, hmm, yeah, that's a good setup. I can't wait for, like, next month kind of sort of thing. And I see it, like a lot of people like kind of the same complaints that they're being like, oh fuck this slowness I'm fucking dying where's he times it's just like calm down that like, calm down we get in there we get in there you know every series has its little slow moments in it and this is definitely you know building up to the next arc that we get in which we are finally going on to retake the world of Maria and just go straight in so we get to see Strayer in this chapter that we like Erwin Levi everyone's talking down saying okay we got to think of the plan here. Like, we got to t retake this war in two days. That's our plan. We need to find a get around that. We had to deal with some internal struggles, but we're returning back to the plan at hand. We need to take care of this. And it was very interesting to see that, you know, only three months after this stuff has even happened. Like, this is ever since, like, the Colossus Titan attacked. Ever since, like, Eren joined the Survey Corps. Like, only three months has taken place. So, we've had a revolution go through, like, you know, taking out the system. We've killed hundreds of Titans. We've had the big revelations. I'm really three months? It's just that all that's taken and we've had so much happen throughout those three months. It makes me curious that what's going to happen later on throughout the series. And even was like when we were talking about Erwin as well. And he was like, you know, I'm planning to lead this matter. Like, no matter fucking what, Levi. I don't care. Like, he's like, he's not saying, you fucking mental. Like, I'm going to break both your legs. Like, you can't do anything. you got one arm. You can't, like, do it. And, like, Erwin's like, I need to be there. Even if I'm just like, a piece of bait. Use me as bait. I am morale there. I am their leader. I need to take care of this. Because no matter what, whatever you have, like, yeah, you may be leaning to your, like, your, like, your king and country like that, but what if your king wasn't there to, like, say good luck to you on the battlefield? You would feel really fucking, like, not happy. You'd be like, oh, what's the fucking point? You know, we can't win this now. Fuck the king. If the king was there right by your side saying, yo, go, you know, you can do this, warriors, and you'd have a bit more of, like, encouragement there, like, so I definitely feel that's what they're going to be doing with that, and especially as well, when we saw, like, this, especially, like, you, uh, like with uh, John and Aaron, they were fighting as well, like, and it, like, it really reminded me, like, how, like, the start, when they were, like, starting to train and get used to one another, like, I feel like that's something that, like, um, Isayama is really trying to do in this chapter, it was like, yeah, let's build up some more development, have, like, the characters, like, you know, goof around and stuff like that, that was especially a lot, like, with the last chapter as well, when they were on, like, the fields and stuff like that, it's like, Deathy, it was a lot more like that, and it was, like, them, you know, dicking around, and kind of, like, even, like, you got to see as well as Jan, he was even pointing out, like, Aaron, like, you're fucking useless, like, which a lot of people be good players, like, you're fucking useless without that Titan form, like, You've always got to have me, Caster, rescuing you every single time, which is pretty much true <laughs> for the most part. I mean, rescued her from, like, you know, we saw from Annie, like, all the whole shit that was going down when he got captured by, like, your, like, your me and all them. It was, like, a bunch of shit went down. So he's like, go to see that. But it was just, like, it was so funny. Just, like, when you got to see Levi just came and he just knocked both of them on their asses. Just, like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> And both you bitches down on the floor. And, like, it was even funny because they were like, wait a minute, why is no one fighting and stopping us fighting? Like, they were like, isn't there someone supposed to stop this fight? And they're just like, oh, fuck it, leave them. Leave them be. They'll do it. Why the fuck not? And especially as well, like, like I said, it was going back more into the development of characters. Like, they even started bringing up stuff back from, like, Armin, dreaming about, with, with like, going with, like, Eren and Mikasa, that he wants to see, you know, there's a sea, there's the snow and sand land, like, all this stuff he's heard about, like, because, you know, they thought all they've been ever seen for their entire lives is just walls and grass. That's, that's the most of their fucking life has been. And, like, once they can finally bring back all this war, and we see, like, they'll be able to have more stuff. They'll be able to have more livestock. People can, have, like, be a little bit more spaced out. You've got more feel. Like, because where the war of Maria is, that's pretty much where all the food and the stuff, that's where all pretty much all the wildlife that they had originally there. So they need that shit there to even take back. So definitely see that like going into it it's like it was kind of nice that levi was at the back there he was kind of smiling saying yeah that's a nice dream that that's a nice dream that i respect that it's like 
but when you saw them, like, the day it finally came, everyone's ready on their horses, when you got to see, like, Erwin giving that speech, like, let's fucking go, like that, and he, everyone just screaming out on top of the wall, and it was so different from, like, how, like, the crowd reacted, like, from the first time, you see, like, how much had changed for these three months, that like, the crowd originally was like, oh, they're just gonna go on a suicide squad, yeah, good luck, and now they're actually cheering them, saying, yeah, take back the wall, go, go, like that, we always support you, so it's a very big change to show what's actually happened to them, because remember last time, they're just like, oh, they're just away, it's just like, you know, the government's taxes and shit, and now they're just like, well, you fucking go out there, but definitely, I think the lot, best bit of the chat is when you got to see everyone's going out there, now about to take the wall, and then you just see on the other side, you get to see Batolt and Reiner there, just sitting there, and it's like, they, they've got their plans ready to do, so definitely we're probably going to be seeing them sometime soon, and I'm looking forward to seeing like what the next chapter especially is going to be is, and you know, that was kind of like, for a lot of people saying like, oh, was this the final chapter of like, you know, like the whole like government arc and stuff, that's like, this is definitely, like, that, if anything, this was definitely the last chapter, like, kind of, like, I'm looking forward to, like, this recapturing, like, War Maria arc, I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, what's gonna happen, I think we're gonna be seeing some crazy shit throughout this one, and, you know, we'll be getting back to the Titan Slaying, so, um, I thought this was a really good chapter, pretty slow, but it did some good things, like, we got some more character development on, like, you know, Levi, Erwin, like, we got to see, like, the plans now attacking him, we got progression going on, and not to mention as well, like, we got to see, we see fucking everyone getting ready, like, fucking squads, like, yeah, let's fuck shit up, and, like, seeing, I don't know, seeing Batol and Ryan out there, that chapter was like, did they got some shit planned right at the end, so, I'm really looking forward to it, and kind of questioning, you know, where's Ymir and all this, like, where, where is she, like, exactly, because we only saw them, but, other than that, I would like to give this to chat too. It was a pretty good one. I'd like to give it a solid 7 this uh, month. I thought it was a good one. Uh, for the last month's chapter, I didn't care too much of it, but we did find a lot of interesting things about Aaron's father and the world and all that. But it was a kind of chapter that, like, that didn't feel like, oh, I should really do a video on them. But apart from that, I'd give this one a 7. And I'd probably get last month's one, I'd probably get it around another 6.5 to a 7. It was like the same score. But really looking forward to like the next year. I mean... Hey, at least look, look on the bright side for other people as well. We won't have to wait too long for that anime as well. Like, sometime around next year. I mean, we've got the spin-off. We've still got the, the Before the Fall manga. You know, we've still got a lot of stuff to keep us entertained like that. And I felt like, hey, this one chapter was pretty good. I mean, we don't have to wait much longer for some shit like this again. So I'm really looking forward to that. But that's all from me. So thank you so much for watching as always. And I'll see you guys next time.